Hey, what's up? I am Lucid and welcome back to Minecraft. So, I just started recording and as always there's a bunch of noise going on everywhere. There's dogs barking, people mowing the lawn or something. I don't even know what the heck that sound is, but it's freaking loud. But anyways, where the heck am I? I think... Ah yes, I'm inside a wall! I like to leave myself off in random places. Okay, anyways. Okay, I know where we're at. Because, well, the mushrooms gave it away. Plus, I kind of remember vaguely where I left myself off. Anyways, we're at the basement second floor. Or is this the basement third floor because the storage room is the second floor? I'm not sure. But anyways, we're down here and as you can tell, I actually got all the grass put in. I managed... Well, it's not even grass yet. Oh man, that was a big fail. I wanted to fly down here. But I put in all the dirt. And, you know, while I was getting all this dirt, I realized that I didn't have any dirt left. I have no idea where it all went. I have a feeling that it went into, like, the farm area when I was making everything flat. And, okay, that zombie right there is not a villager, right? I don't think so. His head's too squared. Okay, yeah, and his clothes aren't raggedy enough. But I'm just waiting for this grass to grow here, and I think I have a bunch of extra dirt left. Yeah, I do. I just went inside the mine shaft, and I went inside my own my old tunnels and I just kind of dug through them and when I found patches of dirt I just cleared it out and my shovel actually is keeping up pretty well because it didn't really break that much yeah it didn't so that's pretty good we still got a good shovel going on and this is what I have so far and you know this room is pretty small still I was gonna open up this side here but it's kind of hard to keep the form of the of the cave when you expand outwards and when I thought about it I actually don't want to accidentally run into where the zombies are spawning I know it's pretty close because when I stand here they start spawning you can hear them see you hear them yeah so I don't want to accidentally run into that because I don't know how close that is actually if I just dig in a little bit oh it's getting louder it's getting louder where is it is it above me is it under me Oh, why am I doing this right now? What is this? Oh, this just goes outside. Huh, I don't want to do that. Let's, let's cap this back up. <laughs> okay, well, you guys get the idea. It's somewhere around here and I have no idea where it's at. So it'd be best if I didn't run into it and now I have a freaking tunnel there. Actually, mm, maybe we'll disable that since I, well, I'll always need EXP, so Okay, here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna disable that once I get once I get another better EXP grinder going. How about that? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But yeah, uh, the first thing I thought I'd do is fix this thing. I actually don't want this to be to be grass. I want to make that stone brick. I want to make it stone brick at the edges, like right here. That way it fits better, and oh, I actually kind of wanted that piece. Alright, that's okay. We can just place that back. Okay, so where the heck is my stone brick? I don't have any on me, so we're just going to have to make do with making some new ones. So let's do that. And my armor is off too, because I was practicing flying. And I didn't want to, like, break my armor doing that. So yeah. Huh. Was that right there, or was it right here? I think I placed it in the wrong place. Oh well, it's okay. This will still work. I'll just put dirt over here, I guess. Let's see. So dirt like that, that works. And over here, how do I want to do this? That kind of looks very strange, does it not? That most definitely looks strange. Alright, how the heck am I supposed to do this? Maybe I'll just leave this side dirt for now until we figure out what to do with that. Because that definitely looks too weird if I put in the stone bricks. Actually, if I open this up a little bit, then maybe it's not going to be so weird. But then you see the grass blocks, which is still weird. Huh, it's a lose-lose situation. This is what happens when you try to keep things random. Okay, how about that? And then we'll just make this one too high. And this is probably going to look terrible from the outside, but that's okay. Who cares what it looks like from the outside? And then that means we got to smooth this over, right? So it's like that or something. Maybe break this block. Oh, okay, there we go. How's that look? Probably better, right? 
Yeah, somewhat better. Okay, it's still this block that's kind of out of place. So let's get rid of that and fill that back in. I don't know. It's like, no matter what I do, it's not gonna work. So let's just leave it for now. And I wanna pick up all this cobblestone because I'm actually short on cobblestone too, I think. But yeah, anyways. Oh man, five minutes already. I found this kind of weird, like, entrance to an underground pool of water, two pools of water. And I came across this room here and it's just like, it was so perfectly squared. It was actually like this or something. And I broke in. But I thought maybe we could put something cool in here. It's like it's begging to be an enchanting room or something because look at this. It's freaking square, perfect for like an enchanting table like right here. Actually, no, not really. Uh, I'm going to keep this open for now because I do want to convert that into something. Maybe we'll put like... Huh, how would that work? I was thinking I'd put like an entrance to like a house or something over here. That way villagers can actually go in there and then maybe make it like a brewing area or something. I don't know, even though I have one upstairs already. But I just realized that this is a bit too narrow for me to do that. And I've already got an idea for that area there. I was going to make that into a like a house frame or something. So we might do that. But first, I want to work on this corner right here and the transition that this is going to make coming down this way so this looks really freaking ugly and I can't dig these blocks out because they're there's stone brick under that so I gotta figure out how I want to do this wall here and oh man I didn't plan very well back then when I put the glowstone back here okay so we're definitely gonna need to cover this up but how I cover it up how what the heck am I saying how I cover it up is the real question now do I want to use stone brick Probably not. Wow, you get to see the sun rising from here too. That's amazing. This is a this is a great place. Okay. Anyways, let's not get distracted. Actually, let's get distracted some more. I want to replace this with stone brick too. Just because it looks kind of weird without it. So let's do that. Oh man, I ran out already. Okay. Let's place those there. And let's do this corner too. That way I have a border or something. And why is that block still that block? I have no idea. Okay, so how's that? That at least looks somewhat better. You got, you can kind of see where the border for the window is. And I guess, oh man, I can't even raise the ceiling too much because of that. Because of those blocks. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to put that there. I want to put this here. So it has to be like that. And that probably has to get covered up too. So okay, I want to try to do some kind of transition using stone bricks, but I kind of like it this open. Huh. Can I dig higher? No, I most definitely cannot. What the heck am I thinking? Of course I can't. I have my base up there. Okay, let's just make a crap ton of stone bricks and maybe we'll just go down like this and try to keep a pattern or something. I don't really like the stone brick look for everything, so that's kind of why I'm trying to shy away from it but it's kind of hard to not use it when it matches so well with everything else because stone brick goes with stone brick you kind of force yourself to go with stone brick if you use stone brick you know it's kind of hard to match up other stuff but let's see let me just come down like this placing blocks throughout the middle centers like this throughout the center part like this and maybe we can just fill this all in with smooth stone for now if I have enough I think I should okay I don't but that's okay let's break that and replace it with dirt okay and let's take this still not enough but that's okay huh I definitely need to move this portal too I mean I noticed that I can hear it from the top floor and it's kind of annoying so I could leave this really open or I could find some way to like arch some stuff around maybe with like wood or something you know what yeah maybe I'll use wood but first let me go oh wait I, I still have stone brick okay so ah but no matter what I have to come out one block because the glowstone's in the way hmm that means I have to copy it on this part that means no matter what that this is going to be too wide only all right, let's go. Let's go look backwards for some inspiration. How the heck did I do the stairs here? Okay, it's just straight up stone brick. 
<laughs> okay, that wasn't very helpful. Alright, well, I guess we're... Ah, okay, let's make some stairs. What the heck am I doing? Wasting so much time. And that's not how you make stairs. That's how you make stairs. Alright, I'll take that. And let's see. How's this look? I don't think I can use it for the top part, huh? That would definitely not work if I were to use it for the top part. I gotta use like regular stone brick or something. Alright, just gonna do a couple to see what it looks like. I don't want to place it upside down. How's that if the stairs just start going that way? I think that's okay. And there's also this problem with the ceiling too. Maybe I'll replace that with stone brick. And then that just means we end up using stone brick everywhere. Ah, Alright, that's fine. Let's just do it. I made some more. Let's do it. Okay, but first, let's put in let's put in the border before I just cut to when I'm finished with this. Alright, and I'm gonna definitely need some scaffolding or something just so I can get around and finish this. Alright, so let's see how this ends up looking. You know what, I'll just cut to when I finish, so I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so this is what I have so far, and I'm not really feeling it. It looks really freaking weird. So I don't really want to keep this, and I don't know, I'm kind of lost on this one. I think I, I kind of screwed myself back then when I built it this close. One of the things that's really bothering me, first of all, is this part, because I really want to remove this, but it's obviously going to go into the floor of the storage area, and we can't have that, so what the heck am I supposed to do here? I don't know. I kind of want to tear this out, but at the same time, I don't know what else to put here, but this does look really really strange if you ask me it's just mm, I don't know and I can't make it go all the way to the end just because I want this to be open you know and if I have this open then I want this to be like an open ceiling so ah, I think we're gonna have to leave it like that but first you know what if anybody has any suggestions feel free to leave me something because I really have no idea what to do here so I'm going to leave that for now, but that's kind of what I had. But anyways, we're going to build like a pillar area over here. So let's let's use wood and not stone brick. I think wood would look better with all this grass. So I'm going to get a couple more pieces of wood here. And the reason why I need this wooden area here is because if we're going to have villagers down here, I don't want them running up into my actual base. That would be really freaking annoying if those guys were just in there going, huh, 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 the whole time. So I'm going to dig a line over here and let's see, can I do something like this? How is that? Is that too much space or too little space? Like we got this open area here and this goes over to here? Is this too... Two less space? Man, this freaking crafting table. Okay, I want to move this. I wonder why my axe is on four and my sword is on three. Huh, that's weird. I'm going to throw my armor on too because we're not flying. Okay, so if I go around here, this chest is obviously not going to be here. I just put this here temporarily, but should I move this one block over or leave it? That I'm not sure. Okay, but say that it is there man now I need my crafting table again <laughs> okay let's see ah I I might have some fences but I don't want to go get them right now okay let's get one fence gate and have it right here yeah that's the center and we're gonna need some more fences I think you get two right so I'm gonna need four let's see oh no you get three all right so let's do that. That way the villagers can't get out here. Maybe I'll expand this a little bit. Not too much though. I just remembered I can't go up too high. So let's see. Maybe something like that. Is that too much? Or too little? This might be perfect actually. I think I'll stick with it like this. So let's see. Place the dirt in here so the grass can grow. And then we'll dig this out and place another piece of stone brick there. 
That makes this window look kind of strange because it's just kind of elevated by one block though. Huh. Maybe I should make the ceiling here all dirt and have it like transition down there. So temporarily I'm gonna I'm gonna place some torches here so we know where the entrance is, the fence gate. And now we're gonna need some stairs. Man, in my mind this was going so much smoother. I thought I'd have like most of this done in one episode. But I don't think so anymore. Is one set of stairs enough? Probably not. Let's make another one. Okay, eight stairs. So now I gotta like smoothly transition this into the dirt. And I think we're just gonna have stairs like that. Maybe. And I guess I could... Let's use some planks, why not? I think that'll go well with it. So we just have it like this. Is this block right here too weird? Maybe I should like push everything forward by one block. That way it's not so much and that makes me want to push it forward one block more. Okay. How's that? It's starting to look... The more I manipulate it, the less natural it looks. That's the problem. So we could do something like that, but that kind of that's kind of counterproductive. And let me just grab this coal real quick because eh, I have enough coal already. I have plenty of coal in the mine shaft actually. I have like more than more than a chest full of just coal blocks. So that's not even I didn't even use the fortune pick on it yet. I don't know why I'm saving it. I guess I'm just too lazy to dig it out. Okay, like I was saying, this just makes things look even more unnatural because now this is a square wall and I didn't want that in the first place. I wanted it to look like a cave. So this piece of wood is just kinda kinda in the way. How about like that? Maybe I'll put some flowers there or something. I don't know. Okay, get this torch out of the way. It's pretty dark in here. I actually want it to be somewhat well lit so that the grass can grow. And okay, so we come down here, blah blah blah. Oh hey, it's the villagers. Then we go through here, and then we go through here and we can talk with them? Oh no. Now the question is, do I want to actually make a path using wood down here, or do I not mind jumping? I totally mind jumping, but it's kind of hard to have a path right here. Huh. Okay, anyways, since we're like towards the end of the episode already, I'm gonna do what I wanted to do this episode well what I wanted to do for this part of it anyways for this part of the cave I was actually gonna open this up and turn this into a the front of a house and you know how you can have like those villager things where there's just like a bunch of doors I think it has to be open to the sunlight though I'm not sure we'll have to figure that out but I'm gonna let's kinda build a frame out here first I have plenty of oak wood, so that should be fine. So let's count out some blocks. Let me clear this out first. And okay, I definitely don't want to go out there. So this is going to be like the entrance to... Actually, I wanted that there. Shoot. This is going to be like the entrance to the house. So let's say that the door is right here. This is going to be like the weird house that grows mushrooms. Oh, that sounds very strange. Okay, let's use like stone brick for the foundation just so we can kind of get an idea of where things are going to go. And I should probably get a door going too, just just so we can have an idea, so we can see kind of how things are going to look. And of course under these stairs is going to be more stairs afterwards. But let's see if I can have enough time to throw that in there actually. Maybe I'll fit that in real quick before we end off the episode because we're at like 19 minutes already. Okay, whoa. That was a crazy landing. All right. So let me just throw this here like that. How is that? I did say I wanted to use logs, right? Maybe for the corners. So let me break out the logs. And we'll just have it go all the way up, I guess. Let's see how this looks. Man, I feel bad for whoever's going to live here because they're just going to be bothered by, by the zombies the whole time. Those guys are really annoying. Okay, so we got something like that. Uh, see, I wanted an off-centered door, but now that I look at it, if I put it right there, how am I going to do the windows? Man, my building... 
my creativity level has really gone down. I really don't know how to do things anymore. I guess it's just I haven't played this game in so long. Okay. I think we're going to have like a window right there. And this obviously looks very strange because there's no depth to it. So we're actually going to push everything back one block. So let's do that real quick. Man, I wish this axe was faster. But it definitely is not. So we're going to move the the door there. That's not going to make the mushroom pop out, right? No, it's not. Okay. And let's just do this. Give it more depth. And we'll start it from back here too. Can I break these? Okay, it's not yet. That's where the surface actually is and we don't want to go there. So let's see, let's see. Uh, Let's just leave the stone brick here, screw it. And use regular stone there. So let's see. We're going to have something like this. This needs to be broken out. Then we can go inwards like this. Oh, come on. Do I have more wood? Yes. And this is going to be a window. So let's see. How's that? That's too high. I still need to do one more like that so I can fit the door into the frame. Like that. And now we just need some stairs. Yes. I have five. Is that enough? This thing's not five wide, is it? Okay, we <laughs> we definitely should not use wood stairs with a wood background for the house. That just looks very strange. Man, I'm going to need to work on this later by myself. I really can't think right now for some reason. I'm not very creative. Okay. I don't want to use stone brick. Let's go with cobblestone for now. Just because cobblestone kind of looks more... What word am I looking for? Rustic? I don't know. Okay, let's fly on back down here. And do something like this. This obviously needs to go since I'm making it that low. And maybe I can... No, I definitely cannot jump that high. Let's put that there. And can I connect that? Yes, I can. But it looks kind of strange because the ceiling touches that. No, you know what? That just looks kind of strange in general. Maybe I can't use logs. Maybe I have to use like... Maybe I have to use like fences or something. How the heck do I turn this into like a door? Into a, a front of a house. Not a door. That's, hmm, I'm kind of lost there. Maybe I should hop into a creative world or something. Okay, I'm just trying to make this less cramped right now. So how is that? Oh man, it's just all stone under. Man, this was a big pain to dig out too when placing the dirt because it's hard to remember where you dig out the stone. So what I did was I just dug it line by line and placed dirt by dirt. And that's how it ended up like this. And it looks like all the grass has grown throughout the time I've been playing and trying to get all this stuff done. So yeah, there's this. This weird looking house that I have no idea what I'm going to do with yet. <laughs> Let's go grab some coordinates real quick. So I can finish off this episode. Okay. So the beginning of the stairs is at what? 206? Yeah, 206. So... We're going to have another opening here for the other set of stairs going into the basement fourth floor. But yeah, I'm going to end it off here, guys, because we're actually at 24 minutes. And wow, I don't know how to fly anymore. And I don't know how this is going to look, but I'll definitely fix it. Maybe I'll even open this up before the next episode so that you guys can actually see what it's supposed to look like. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up and or subscribing. I do read all comments, so feel free to leave one. And that was a big fail because I was going to run up there and grab some glass so I can place the glass real quick while I was saying all that outro stuff. But it looks like I'm not going to make it because now I got to go. Alright, thanks for watching guys and see ya.